Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Appreciate you coming out. This is a TB110 Troy built for the 550EX engine. It's a 2017 model year. I happened to pick this up with the uh, group of 11 for 170. This one here had no rear wheels. Blade was missing and no fuel line. So I'm not sure about this if it's going to start. I took the carb off. Um, three out of the four bolts that hold the air filter backing plate on were missing. So I found some replacement screws. This one here I had salvaged the rear wheels off of another uh, junk mower. I had saved the uh, rear end and front end. The um, deck had rusted out. So I went ahead and swiped the uh, wheels off of that unit and uh, threw them on this one so I could move it around. Swiped a fuel line off of another tank. I had my stash, small fuel line. So we got to add fuel to this thing. Um, what else? I got a new air filter for it and a filter cover. I just got a four pack out of uh, China from AliExpress. So we got to install that and uh, we got to put the blade on it. I turned it over by hand while watching the uh, crankshaft. I did not see any. Um, wobbling of the shaft but we'll find out soon enough so the washer and the bolt were there but no blade let's put a, a blade on it this is a 21 inch bow tie um, part number 7420741 or 9420741 You can see the bow tie design here in the middle, 21 inch. For MTD, Cub Cadet, and Troy built. So let's turn this over. I have my torque wrench out here. This takes a 38 to 50 foot pound torque. I have mine set at about 45. So we'll put this on, put some fuel in the tank, and, and try starting this. I'm crossing my fingers that this thing starts. As you can see, it's severely rusted here. I went ahead and greased up the adapter, put a little grease here, just to make it easy for the next homeowner to get this thing off. Kind of put a little layer of grease on this rust. Five eight socket on this one. So 
So that's on. Let's put it on all fours and add some petroleum product to this. When I have them on the side like this, I take my 10 millimeter socket, I've already done it, and tighten up the uh, front end here. You've got three 10 millimeters on the inside of the deck and then two on the outside. These things vibrate and shake. The um, screws that go into plastic get loose. Same thing for the rears. You got two on each side and then two on the top. Six total here. Five in the front. The fuel, uh, not the fuel, the oil looked clean, so I didn't mess with that. So I'm wondering if the scrapper stole stuff off of this, or did he pick it up like this with it missing all these parts, blade, fuel line in the rear axle. bowl is dry. I don't see any fuel leaking. Let's pull on this automatic choke. Okay, I took the plug out. I forgot to show you that. Let me show you the plug that came out of it and what we're going to put in it. It had a baby plug in it. This is not the plug that goes in it. A Champion CJ8. Not the right plug. It takes a QC12YC. You can see the difference. Bigger is better. This CJ8 I think goes to a weed whacker or something. And we got a fuel leak, I noticed. It's leaking fuel. So the float is sticking or something or other. Just tapping on it with 